Good morning, everyone. Well, it's morning here at this time. Now that I'm filming this video, um, this video is very impromptu, and I'm making it because it's due now, and I I have something very important to say. It's about hair. <laughs> um, yesterday I was in a meeting, and a friend of mine who has cut off all she's black let's get it straight she's black i don't think she's mixed with any other race i think she's um what do you say uh predominantly or dominantly black predominantly black i think she's she's black right and uh, i was looking at her hair you know how when your hair grows in its natural state and you take like a string and just put it up in a little bun that's how she she had it and her hair is really thick and it has come a long way since I've met her and it looked overly dry so I you know what's up to her this morning and I I you know complimented her on how thick her hair is you know but you know I said what are you using to moisturize your hair and she said nothing so I started laughing and I said you know what I'm gonna put something together because a few months prior to this me making this video she inboxed me and she asked me if I know of any products that can moisturize her hair and there was something a mixture that Miss V Charles made a video about it contains jojoba oil castor oil and aloe vera juice and i think a leave-in conditioner so i sent her that video and i just left it at that i didn't follow up i didn't ask her if she tried it or anything until today when i saw her hair yesterday and how dry it was now what when she said nothing you know i i was like kind of taken back because black hair and black people are as misunderstood as being a seventh day adventist this is not about religion or anything but i'm just giving you a comparison if you don't know what a seven day adventist is or an sda you can always google it and read up on it and black people and black hair especially has been very misunderstood misuninformed a lot of people are miseducated about black hair so they will say things that they're not supposed to say and if you if they have black hair or unprocessed chemically unprocessed hair they will have a lot of misconceptions about it and feel very confused about the wearing their hair in its natural state now i was one of those people and um ever since i was a child my i think i've been put, put in a chemical process in my hair ever since i was about like we young i was really young i was younger than the age of seven or six right if i spoke about that prior to that in a video and if you want to see that video you can click right there to see that video um and I've been back and forth. I've done a lot of things with my hair. I've even at, at even in high school, I've creamed my hair on my own. I've cut it off, gone natural on my own at a very young stage. So I've been very back and forth. And the last thing that I did to my hair that I thought that I would be satisfied with was we tried wearing locks. No, this is the truth. I'm going to confess. I wore locks because I was escaping the reality of having to deal with black hair in its original state meaning not locking it just wearing it in its original state when you were it in a cane roll you were it in a twist you were it in a bun you style it every day however you want to wear it i was running from that reality and you know wearing locks just made me realize how complicated black hair is perceived to be it's not complicated it's perceived to be 
you know and although i had locks and yes when you wear locks all you can do um all you have to do is wash it and you know you don't have to style it in any uh, special way it's very easy to wear but at the same time getting it tightened it's very expensive to tighten your hair when you're wearing locks to tighten your roots that is it is very inconvenient to have to uh get it groomed every time you wash it or whatever i mean that is just my opinion and my locks were very thin that is how i wanted to wear my locks because i like to see them thin you know and if i wear my locks that thin and every time i go to the beach every time i go for a swim and i want to wash my hair i either have to deal with the reality of paying to get it uh groomed doing it myself to get it groomed or leaving it to look untidy and i was like this is messed up you know it's complicated it's more complicated than wearing for me it's more complicated than wearing your hair in its natural form without having to lock it now i cut my hair off a lot of people are always expecting me to cut my hair off because i'm always cutting my hair off it's not a situation where i don't like my hair i don't believe that persons should do a lot of it's it's just really complicated or it was really complicated to me and i think i had to go through all these hair journeys to realize what it is with black hair that is perceived to be so complicated and since i've cut my hair before i've cut my hair off i have to use this person as a um prime example this is um Shireen, it's my 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 guy friend's girlfriend. They're going steady, and Shireen's here. I I have to give her her props. She's in college. She's pursuing her degree. I'm sure her life is um, somewhat busy. You know, she has a relationship. I don't know what else is going on with her. But every time you see her, her hair is always together. Her hair is always put together and ever since I've met her, I've been, you know, I've, I've been admiring, you know, the way she carries herself. She's always neat. Her hair is always neat. I've never seen her have a bad hair day. And I've seen her very often when it's early in the morning, late at night, on the weekend, she's always put together. And when you look at these black girls who can wear their hair in their natural state without having to have a bad hair day i mean not only black people have black bad hair days other races do have bad hair days but it's like if you're black it's it's an excuse to have a bad hair day and i don't think that that is right you know um I've been researching, I've been doing a lot of, not really research, but I've been looking at a lot of videos. And I think the number one problem with black hair is dryness. A lot of people think, oh, my hair is natural. I can get up out of bed and not moisturize my hair. It's not important. Please, people whether you're black white you're indian you're portuguese whatever race you are hair needs moisture no matter what texture it is so when you get up out of bed just as how you put a lotion on your skin some people don't need to wear a lotion because there's they don't have that type of skin where it needs a lot of moisture but a lot of people that i know whether you're black or whether you're white whether you're indian whether you're whatever you need to moisturize your skin so why is it that we get up out of our beds we bathe and we moisturize our skin what about our hair you know we brush our teeth we we wear lip balms we groom our eyebrows we put on a deodorant but we refuse to moisturize our hair every day there's no way that you can get up leave the house for one week and not 
moisturize your hair it's just crazy now there are a lot of techniques out there this is YouTube there are millions of people out there who are educating us on how to wear your hair in its natural state without it being a headache and the number one regimen that I have been realizing that everyone uses is you keep your hair clean and when you keep your hair clean you get up out of bed just as though you moisturize your skin you put on deodorant you get a, man a manicure a pedicure whatever it is you moisturize your hair by spritzing a leave-in conditioner in it there are millions of leave-in conditioners out there that you can use that are also affordable uh, there is also the oils and the creams that you put to lock that moisture in after you have uh, added the liquid for moisturization and you should do that every day not when you wash your hair only not when you go to the hairdresser only not when you feel like only but your hair needs moisture just as though you drink water you feel thirsty i'm sure your hair feels thirsty so people please if you are on this natural hair journey and you're confused you're frustrated all you want to do is put a chemical um, relaxer in there or straightener in there or a perm stop don't do it you don't need to feel frustrated you just need to educate yourself about your history about your hair about things that can help you in your natural hair journey it doesn't have to end with a bad hair day or a chemical processor i can tell you and i am here i'm going to document things that I do with my hair to help me with this journey also because I'm in the struggle too we're all in the struggle together and we just need to support each other and be honest let people know what you're going through I mean all the comments that you're gonna get they're not gonna be as positive as you would want them to be because you know we live in a world where everyone is entitled to their own opinion uh, I hope this video helped there is a lot of things that I, I have to share currently I'm working on a, a project uh, here in my home and I haven't been doing any videos because I really need to complete that project and it's very time-consuming hopefully I'll be able to upload that video by uh, this Sunday I hope this video helped if you have any questions comments concerns comment down below let me know inbox me my email is available on my channel uh, in the description bar below you can send me a message I'm here to help and uh, we can all we can do it we just have to educate ourselves we have to get the knowledge and just move on anyway thanks for watching my video once again share this also don't leave without giving me a thumbs up and i'll see you when i see you